Hey, this is Swaggers doing L.A. Noir for GameGuideCentral.com, and this is the second homicide mission uh, case, the Golden Butterfly. And this mission pisses me off, and I'll tell you about why near the end, so as not to spoil anything. But first, uh, the good uh, policeman here will lead us up to the crime scene again. We got to be careful because uh, she is a completely Can't naked be much help lady. You, She is. Look at your mark is very So good. check out the neck. I'll do some comparison for the rope. The lab and get back to you. Looking for some rope burns. And then the her looks like she was right arm. It does it first. Like a but that would leave a mark on her other Watch was violently I ripped from her arm. Torn off. And then the right What's this mark? Cut Again, finger. missing jewelry. Fourth finger, it's very similar finger. to the last case. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Is it reported in the and then uh, check out her sure upper torso Every there detail, a copycat for uh, there the another story. footprint. Okay, then we're going to go to B and look at her purse. And we want to check out uh, her name tag here. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. And then also um, check out that she has money there, so people, someone wasn't oh, trying to robbery. steal her. Why not take the money? Steal from her, but uh, I think that's pretty obvious with the way she was brutally, you know. Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband Hugo Muller. What I tell you. Okay, and then Let's check out the husband, C. Take him downtown and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? And then we can uh, get out of here and move on to the next place. So let's go to the Molar residence. Okay, just his daughter is home, so let's do a little snooping around. Fifteen-year-olds can give consent uh, for me to snoop around, can't they? So let's check out the pair of boots. Doesn't matter which one. Yep, size eights. Yep, size yep, eights. yep. And then let's check out both uh, jewelry boxes here. Elgin yep, missing. Probably the same one Lady the Elgin. And then also the ring seems to be a no-show. No sign of a wedding ring. Okay, so let's just uh, go question the young lady then, see what she knows about her mom being missing. So does she anything, know anything about the watching ring? And that's the truth, she's not really, she's 15, she's not really into jewelry yet, especially not in the 40s. When did you last? Last contact with mommy? Doubt. She's got, she's got a little more information than she's letting on. And then state of the parents' marriage. Happily married? Of course they are. They weren't happy Again, doubt they, now. Past. And so we're going to go right into, right after that, Hugo's going to show up and we're going to interview him. And uh, he's lying, lying right away to begin with. Because um, we know he's a size 8. And then the missing persons report. You phoned in you didn't turn up. Doubt, doubt his story. Up. And then his alibi. You don't need no alibi or guilty. Um, that's a lie. He's lying right there. Turn what he just said back in his face. And then does he have a history of violence? Yeah. 
that's a lie because uh, his daughter just said that he likes to give mommy presents after he beats her. So the butterfly brooch. I know about the. Okay, and then after that, uh, the neighbor's gonna wave you over, say she's got yes. some info, and then right after that, we're gonna run back and uh, chase down Hugo because uh, he's trying to incinerate some evidence in his backyard while we'll s while Don't we're still around. So he's not the smartest cookie. And I could not get the tackle. I kept tapping and nothing. I just can't get the tackle. So I guess you gotta chase him down. I think you got to beat him up at the end if you can't get the tackle. They give you things. They really give you everything in this game. One of my disappointments is that if he gets away, um, he doesn't really get away. He can't. No one gets away. Eventually everyone gets screwed up just by the environment if you can't catch him. I can understand people not wanting to do the entire thing again because you know Hugo. they can't catch the guy. But Hands come on! Can see them. Nope, you didn't have to fight him. He just gave up. So what, what was he? In, what was he in a hurry to insinuate? Let's check that. Oh, there's a shoe. Oh, a bloody shoe, a bloody this size eight good, shoe. Hugo. That is not I, looking I good for him. Point. Get him booked in at Central. Get him back to Central booking. Okay, then use the call box outside. She wants a five star. God, Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Cole Phelps. One, two, drunk, four, three. I already forgot. And then get in the car. Get in your car because you not you get a car from a dispatch when you get in the car. So if you want him to drive, just we get, get out and switch and a after technical he's in the car. Team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street. And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger 11K. Got it, KGPL. And get back out so we can put a new destination. And let's go to uh, Central Morgue first. Get more evidence. So we've been to Central Morgue before. If you need the coroner's car, it's right there. Go get that for your uh, 95 cars. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you? And then they'll talk to you. Then you need to inspect this rope, and it's the bottom one that you need to inspect. You push it up. Looks what like a match. For that kind of rope. And then uh, look at the Plaster of Paris footprint molds, and you want to check the size. The shoe prints? Size 8. And then finally you just kind of do a little We've gaze at the body. This guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Just to show how horrible this crime is. Okay, again, we need to get in the car. Um, to get the call from dispatch to get the next set of information. Yeah, we're here. Go, go ahead. ahead. Give us it. in route. Step on it. Step on it. And I'm not going to step on it. I'm going to get out and say you drive because I don't like taking a lot of damage. One, I don't like taking an hour to drive anywhere. And two, I don't want to take any damage to hurt my five star don't, rating. Don't, don't so you're going to talk to the jander and then the perv's going to take off and you need to chase him down. So try to kind of angle yourself so you can catch up to him. Shoot the creep! Pretty far ahead. We should do a little Dukes of Hazard dive over the hood there. Oh my gosh, just shoot him in the foot or something. Come on. Hey, there's a uh, dump truck. Those are pretty rare. 
Might want to give up pursuit and jump into there. There he is, officer. And I keep tapping and I cannot get I, I don't know what's wrong. I can't get the tackle to work on some of these. Because I'm right on him. And see it does the little run thing and then it just no 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 nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. And then it slows me down. Oh my gosh, what am I running a marathon here? And Galloway's gonna show up and then of course you're gonna have to fight him. Let me see if I remember what buttons That's I'm supposed to be pushing freak. now. You move a muscle He's not much a of a fighter. I don't think he, yeah, I don't think he even takes a swing, so if you're looking for your lid on, that's probably the easiest place, because he just stands there and takes it like a chump. Fucking skull, Eli. Okay, and then you're gonna look at him and he happens to he just happens to have that butterfly brooch on his person. But he says he found it. You know. Gotta prove it, right? Apparently you don't. Again, this is not his what car, so it's not like he's driving around in a car ride. with bloody rope and bloody, you know, overalls. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. And then uh, the overalls, they're all bloody. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. And this, this whole case what doesn't make any sense for either of them to have done it. Um, it just really pisses me off because there's a lot of things we could check like that tire iron is it from his car why don't we check his car maybe his tire iron is there you know uh, we gotta go use the phone so I'm gonna run over to the phone but uh yeah and are those his overalls or are they Rooney's let's uh, actually check where Rooney works and what his overalls look like and how um, Hugo's overalls are etched with his name. Is that how his initials are on there? I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous the lack of stuff, you know, the stuff they left out. Helps. It That's seems like it's a pretty obvious check. How could I help, Detective? Okay, now that we're done with our cars, let's go to the police station and question these two guys. They're both in the police station. You know the way. You... So I'm going to question Hugo first. You ran the light on Olympic. Here's where we stand, Hugo. So, disposal of evidence. Truth. And then, um, I don't, I don't watch it all, but he says it's because of rabbit's you know blood. About... And again, you know, let's, we should be checking that out. You learn to strangle with the... Second thing is doubt. Access to the tire you iron. Again, why, why aren't we checking if his tire iron is missing? You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have at least check that. Doesn't mean he did it even with a bloody tire iron, but at least your confirm wife. that his, you know, his tire iron's gone. And then the victim's vehicle recovered. Wife. Why would he drive it to the school? And it's just the whole Enough the whole lies. case is pretty stupid. He's lying about the last thing. Um, we say he's lying because of the overalls, but again, we never checked that that's what his overalls look like. Oh, this case pisses me off. Okay, let's go talk to Rooney. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. You think there's good Tough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Okay, and then the footprints at the crime scene. What's an 11s? Doubt five, it. Five, five. Place of employment. Again, this is where he says he works from some place that has the initials HM. <laughs> but, uh. You ever tie ah, up just so bad. Okay, and then he is uh, telling the truth there. And then finally, motive for the Mueller murder. Um, yeah, he's broke, but, you know, again, he's just a little purr, but doubt it. And then you have to you have to charge him I'm charging you um, first to get five stars, even though there's really it could go either way. You can charge Hugo, and it's considered true, correct, also, but you don't get five stars. Out this this case just pisses me off. So uh, well, there you go. There's five stars in the case that I I don't believe in, but whatever. Uh, GameGuideCentral.com.